Alright guys, welcome to the tier list. Today we're gonna be ranking the fruits based on how good they are for PvP and grinding. And also how fun they are, so... Prepare for some hot takes and let's just get straight into it. Now since this is in alphabetical order, we're starting off a barrier. And honestly, it's overhated. First of all, its moves could literally block attacks. Which for some reason people didn't know even though it's called barrier. Besides that, its C move is also good against big transformations like Buddha. And honestly, it's pretty fun to use in general. You could probably also make combos with it, so for that, I'm gonna give it like a B tier because it's not the best, but it's C, it's fun. Now we got Blizzard. I'm gonna just make this short and simple. It's good for grinding, it's good for PvP, and it's good for making you fall asleep because the moves honestly sound chill. So for that, I'm gonna put it at A tier. Actually, no, screw that. S. That'll be our first S. And then we have Bomb here. Now, Bomb, it's honestly a bad fruit, but, like, it's fun to troll with. I don't really hate it, but I also don't like it, so I'm gonna put it C tier, and what I mean by trolling is just dropping a fruit on the landmines. Alright, now, Buddha. Do I need any reason? Like, do I actually need any reason for putting that in S tier? And with Chop, I must say, honestly, for Chop, I'm gonna say A tier because of its sword immunity. Like, most people would say you're screwed if people don't use swords, but people still use swords for stunning, so... You wouldn't really be screwed that much. Now, Control. It's honestly a pretty skilled fruit. It's good if you know how to use it, but... I mainly use it for trolling, like, just throwing boats, levitating them, and just throwing it somewhere. It's pretty fun to use, but, like... It's also hard to use in PvP, so I'm gonna just put it B tier. With Barrier. Now, Dark. Honestly, it's decent for PvP, but I wouldn't say it's the best because it feels pretty escapable. But it does look cool and it's pretty fun to use, so I'm gonna give it like a B tier. And Diamond? I mean, if you use Diamond, all you're using it for is the, like, defense buff, which is actually pretty good for PvP, but it's pretty terrible for grinding, so I'm gonna put it B tier too. Now, Doe is an easy S tier because it's fun to use and it's just good for PvP. Even though it's pretty easy to Ken trick, you could easily make combos with it. But it's honestly bad on Awakened. Now Dragon. This video is before the rework, so it's not as good as whatever it will be, but... I'm gonna just put it A tier right now because... It's spammy, it's comboable, and it's just good in general. It's not good for grinding, but it's fun and it's good for PvP. Falcon. Easy F. I mean F for Falcon. It's knockback will literally send you to a new C, and it's just terrible for grinding and PvP. It's just terrible all around. Now Flame. I'm gonna put it in B tier and I'm gonna give you my reasoning. It's good for PvP and grinding, and honestly, it's just fun in general. I'm gonna bump that up to an A. But like, yeah. It's good on Awakened and Awakened, so it deserves the A spot. Now Ghost. I'm gonna give Ghost an A tier also because of that second life. And it has a pretty good moveset with just cloning yourself. And Gravity. Prepare to be surprised, but this is not an F tier to me. This is actually like a B tier because I actually like using Gravity. Like honestly, its X move is actually pretty good. Especially with Angel V4, but the rest of the moves are just pretty bad. Like for the Z move, why would you want to push someone in for the CMV? The V is literally just a C move, but more. And honestly, they just have such a bad explosion radius. So that's why it gets a B. Now, Ice is just an S tier. It's purely an S tier because of its stun. And it's also good for grinding because of its trident. It also has good mobility with you being able to ice skate around and actually go on water, so that's another reason for its S tier. Kisune, easy S tier. It's just so easy to kill people with it, its moves are just so good combined with each other. It's just a good fruit all around. Especially its M1, it's decent for grinding. So it's an easy S tier. You know what else is an S tier? Joining my Discord server. In this server we got giveaways, which as of now is Venom. We got trading. And we also have stock updates. So that you don't have to go into a server and check it every two hours. But if you want friends or need help with something, we got something called the general chat which you can help make more alive. But that's it for this F tier ad, and I'ma also suggest an S tier suggestion, called subscribing to change this depressing ratio. 
Now, Leopard. This is gonna be the hottest take you'll ever see, but I'm gonna honestly put it in B tier, not A or S, because I just don't find any enjoyment in using it. And I know its moves are, like, good, but, like, I just can't find any combo with it or any fun in using it. So that's why it just goes in a B tier, in my opinion. And I feel like it's overrated. Now, Light, it's an A tier. Yeah, an A tier. The reason why I put it in A tier is because it's good for PvP and grinding. It's just a good fruit in general and it has a fast flight even though the flight's weird. Alright now to me, love is an S tier. My reasoning being that you could summon a friend and that friend is pretty OP because if the enemy tries to use an attack on you, it won't be on you. Now Magma. Me personally, Magma is a B tier. Like, it definitely has high damage, but you can't really combo with it, so that's why it's a B tier. Now, Mammoth, in my opinion, is another B tier. It's fun to use, but it just has a lot of knockback, and it's kind of hard to make a combo with it because you have to be very accurate. I'm gonna give Pain a C tier, because honestly, Pain is like if a Rumble and a Cyborg had a baby and its DNA just came out very messed up. Now, Phoenix is honestly a comfortable A for me because it has that healing move and, honestly, its F move, Awakened, is honestly one of the best flights. Now, Portal is an S tier. You could travel around the map, you have that X move, and honestly, it's just pretty good for PvP. It's not the best for grinding, and honestly, its V move, I feel like, needs a rework because it drains you and people could escape easily. All it's really used for is just a 1v1. Now Quake, I'm gonna give this a C tier and I'll give you my reasons. It's bad for grinding and honestly, it's just easy to escape, but I will give it something. It's pretty nice to combo with it because of its Awakened Z move, but if you have it unawakened, you're not doing crap. Rocket is an easy F tier, it shouldn't have replaced Kilo. Now Rubber, C tier, it's just fun to use like just flying around the map with the slingshot. Now Rumble is an easy S tier for me because all of its moves are literally just stunning. You could teleport around them to the point where they can't even keep up and it's just very OP for PvP. And it's honestly fun so it deserves the S tier. Now Sand. Honestly I'm gonna put Sand at a B tier. Its moveset is good but if the person's sky camps are pretty screwed. And I don't really see it as very good for grinding besides it giving you that Logia effect. Now honestly, for Shadow, it's a never comfortable A because Shadow's fun to use, it's pretty good for grinding, and it's also pretty good for PvP. It gets a nice A for me. Now I'm gonna put Smoke at D tier. It's good for the Logia effect and it's also good because it makes you a bomber plane, but besides that, it doesn't really deserve a C tier. I'm gonna give Sound a B tier because for PvP, best C move is pretty OP. But honestly, for grinding, it's pretty bad, and the other moves just don't really have that much range. So it wouldn't be bad great for PvP. Spider is honestly just a B tier for me because it's pretty fun, but I don't really see it being really comboable in PvP. And honestly, it's decent for grinding. But I'd say it deserves a B more than a C. Now Spike? I'm gonna honestly give Spike a D tier because I wouldn't say it's like as bad as Falcon or Rocket, but it's pretty bad. Spin, in my opinion, is another D tier. It's better than Falcon and Rocket for grinding, but it's just not that good. Especially for PvP, it's not that great. Now, Spirit. Y'all may disagree with me a lot on this one while some others agree, but I'm gonna honestly give it a B tier. The reason why I put it in B is because you just have to be very accurate with the moves. And sometimes it's just weird how you miss. Now, Spring is an F tier for me. All the fun you'll have with it is just bouncing around, but that's basically it. And T-Rex. This fruit is pretty OP, so I'm gonna just give it an S tier. Its Predator's Mark literally does not let you activate Instinct at all, and it's just nice to combo with. It has its own M1, and honestly, it's just pretty OP. You could definitely use it for grinding if you wanted to. Now, honestly, Venom is a comfortable A tier for me, because honestly, it's pretty good for PvP. But, like, it's just not good for grinding that much. His moves are pretty good transformed and you should just use it for PvP at least once and give it a try. Now this is what the list looks like. It's the end. Comment if you actually agree with this, but I doubt there will be anyone who agrees because there are quite a lot of hot takes on this list.
but this is pretty much a whole video, so see ya.